Among security clearances now under review, apparently, is demoted DOJ official Bruce Orr. As a shocking report uncovers more of his texts with the author of that anti-Trump dossier, Christopher Steele. In one, Steele seems concerned about Comey's upcoming testimony on Capitol Hill, writing, Hi, just wondering if you had any news. Obviously, we're a bit apprehensive given scheduled appearance at Congress on Monday, hoping that important firewalls will hold. Many thanks. Or replied, sorry, no new news. I believe my earlier information is still accurate. I will let you know immediately if there is any change. Fox News legal analyst Greg Jarrett is the author of The Russian Hoax. It's the number one book in America for the third week running, and he joins us live right now. Good morning to you. Good to see you, Steve. Okay, so what are these important firewalls that uh, Mr. Steele is worried uh, might be Publicized. Well, here's 60 pages of Steele's communications with Bruce Orr at the mm -hmm. Department of Justice. And he is frantic that he is going to get exposed. In one text message... They wanted it to be a secret. Oh, right, because here's what Chris Steele did. He created a phony document, false intelligence. He hated Trump. He's on record saying mm -hmm. he'd do anything to stop Trump. So what he did was he created this a false intelligence document, peddles it to James Comey and his Confederates and John Brennan. And he's doing a lot of it through Bruce Orr, the guy there in the middle of the screen. And so, but he realizes that he's going to get busted. Mm -hmm. He's going to get exposed. So one text message is Senator Grassley has a letter and he's going to implicate him, Bruce, uh, Christopher Steele. Another one he writes to Bruce Orr, Comey's about to testify, right. and he's worried he'll be exposed. Because then it would expose the fact that the Democrats funded it and Hillary was involved, and right. that would have happened almost two years earlier than, than right now. Talking about the dossier, though, and you just mentioned Mr. Brennan. Brennan got his security clearance yanked yesterday. Yeah. And one of the reasons, it sounds like uh, the president told uh, the Wall Street Journal that he holds him responsible for launching the whole Trump Russia collusion narrative. Right. Chapter six is how John Brennan, his CIA director, was the instigator of the Russia hoax. He did more than anyone uh, damage in propagating false intelligence in the dossier. Um, he's proven he cannot be trusted uh, with national security secrets. He's leaked before, and he would be prone to use current intelligence to damage Trump and jeopardize national security. He should be nowhere near CIA headquarters. In fact, he ought to be banished from Washington, D.C. So the president was right to pull the security clearance on him? Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, you're supposed to be nonpartisan, apolitical as CIA director. Brennan never was. He was an acolyte and sycophant of Hillary Clinton. And he was using this false intelligence to damage Trump before the campaign uh, ended and to help Hillary Clinton because he wanted her to be president. Right, and nobody would ever know because Hillary Clinton was supposed to win, but then Donald right. Trump, as it turns out, won, and now we are starting to know more and more. Well, as you pointed out at the top of the hour, um, it was very devious maneuver by Brennan. He goes to Harry Reid on Capitol Hill, and together they come up with this plot. If you write a letter to Comey, we can leak it to the media alleging Trump-Russian collusion. Oh. And that's exactly what they did. Check it out. It is called The Russia Hoax. It's available everywhere. Greg, thank you very Steve, much. Steve, thank you. you bet.